Hello, it's Ethnic Green Living here and I'm excited because today I am going to give you guys another garden tour. You guys know I love doing these tours. I typically do them once a week on Thursdays. Don't hold me to it. <laughs> but I'm super excited to show you what's happening in the in-ground beds. I do a lot of talking about the raised beds, but I don't always show you the in-ground beds because I didn't have a lot before the show, but now I do and I have my list to kind of help me, although uh, what I planted didn't actually all come up because um, there was some um, flooding and hurricane um, in surrounding areas. And so that gave me about six weeks of rain. So what it did was it shifted some of my um, seeds and also it just kind of killed some of them, to be honest. So let's see what I have in the garden today. I'm super excited to share this with you guys. First is the bed that makes me I don't know why, but some of the most excited is my peppers, guys, because I know that I started these bad boys from seed, and that makes me so happy. This next row, excuse all the weeds, this next row are my tomatoes, and they are really tall and beautiful, and they go along this path, and I started those from seeds. I also have another row of tomatoes, and they go along this path I have a few of suspect things right there <laughs> here I have a few peas here I have some squash and after the squash is blue lake stream let me just walk you don't they look good? They look really good I'm really excited about these this is my first time planting um, stream beans in this variety we have some more squash. watermelon plants. I'm super excited about those. And then we have cantaloupe. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven cantaloupe. And then I have a different variety of watermelon here in this bed. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this next bed is my corn. growing. It's got a little thing here with a little silk. So this is my corn row. Okay. Um, after my corn is two rows of cucumbers. I have some for pickling, which I think is this row. This one looks like it might be almost ready to produce. And then I have another row that are just plain cucumbers. So I really gotta get in here and weed, like I've said, but whew, it definitely takes a lot of time. And we just um, finished up with some rain. Okay, almost done with the in-ground. 
these are my row of peas and um, cow peas, just all, all types of peas. I won't start naming them off. Um, so those are all peas there. Sweets here. There's a few more types of peas. See what I said about things shifting? This is definitely like a cucumber or something. Or melon. But it's shifted all the way over here. And oh, there's a little pea. A little bee. Looks like there's a corn right here. Okay, so this next row we have peppers. Another favorite row. I think I'm just really peppers. And what's really cool that all these peppers pretty much have a baby on them. Or they're about to have. I'm just going to ask what about it about to come. Look at this one. This one's pretty good. Um, another one here. And another one there. And my last row is tomatoes. So these are a lot of bromas. And there's a pink variety that's low active. I transferred these from the pot over here. Uh, I didn't think it was going well in the pot. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, here we have some more corn. I think the one with the red is the candy corn. And I think the one beside it is just the regular corn. But don't hold me to that. Uh, so we can see all the cucumbers are ready. They're ready, boy. Um, my thyme and my... Um, I'll come back and tell you. Those are not doing the best, but you know, they're working. Got a few um, more beans back there in the back. I did get an ostrium, I think, that popped up since the last time. I did a tour. And of course, most of my stuff went to seed my lettuces. So I'm gonna pull those and put some radishes in. Here's my sunflower. I took a picture of on Instagram that I told you it was about as big as me. And so now it literally is almost as tall as I am. Um, we're still trying to get this tarp laying down, so that's the issue over here. Uh, but you can see, these are the eggplants, so they're ready. And look, we've got all kinds of peppers going on. Um, over here in all the beds we have peppers. So I'm extremely excited about all my peppers that are growing. Um, some lemon balm, I mean some catnip, and I think lemon balm too. Um, just get this little weed right here. So I'm really excited about this bed. We've got papa beets and some more um, kale. Okay, so as far as my um, raised beds go, this is probably my favorite. Can you just see the yellow all around? And then when I get low, oh my goodness, there are so many oh tomatoes just waiting <sighs> to be eaten. Yeah. There are so look right here, two right there. And there's another one right here. No, they're not ready yet. Because you green to milk, you can. can. These are leaning a little bit, but we've got uh, six, seven, got some here and there. So we've just got tomatoes everywhere. So look at these big ones. And I've got plenty of different varieties. So I am super excited about all these tomatoes. It's a little flower I got here. I have a few flowers. Here. And these are the carrots, so the carrots are really good. So here is my Brussels sprout. That one is almost completely destroyed, but that's okay because I actually got some neem oil now. So I can, I'm gonna spray that um, sometime today or tomorrow. And here we have some more sunflowers. This one is really amazing because it has like three heads, four, four on it. But I'm really excited about that. And we have two more on the other side as well. This is the bed that is holding my flowers. And they are all ready to bloom. So these are the broccoli and cauliflowers. And the cabbages. Some of the cabbages are doing really amazing. Like this one, it is phenomenal. This one is really good. This one is really good as well. So, we're just waiting. 
looking over here again at the zucchini. We've got some more corn, a few flowers. Right here, my peas have taken over. <laughs> yeah. Some more corn. This corn's really tall right here. This one stalk. So excited about that. Okay, I had to show you these because I love those peppers so much. Okay, these are my chickens just enjoying some of the fresh peaches that we pick. They are loving them. We are loving them. Thank you so much for watching my video. Hopefully next week we'll have all of our goals accomplished. Thank you so much next for watching. Time. And until next time, blessings.